Sanity. Males banned from competing in women's cycling events under new rules. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Trans identified male cyclists are set to be banned from competing in women's cycling championships under a new policy announced by the Union Cycliste Internationale, cycling's global governing body. Under the new rules set to take effect this Monday, transgender male athletes who transitioned after puberty will no longer be allowed to participate in any competitions and official events in the UCI calendar. Well, well, well. I mean, this is such a dumb, like, obvious thing. Um, you know, that, like, I just, I don't, under, I don't understand. Uh, like, obviously, biological men should be, uh, <laughs> should be competing against biological men. And I think that, you know, ultimately it's, it's the old argument of like, um, why don't these, uh, trans men compete against biological men? Why is it always this way? Now there are some rare, there are some rare instances, honestly, of, um, you know, there are some rare instances where a biological man who is, I get him confused, but a biological man who is trying to present as a woman or whatever um, will compete against biological men. I don't have any problem at all with that. You know, like, why would I? You're competing in the correct, the correct uh, category. But to me, if you want to compete against women and you are a biological man, you are doing so knowing that you have a massive physical advantage. You are cheating. There's no other way to define it. You are a biological man cheating and stealing spots from women. The policy is set to replace the existing rules which have allowed trans identified males to compete in the female category. If their testosterone levels were before below a certain level um, per liter for at least 24 months competing prior to competing. This was also one of the most ridiculous rules. The Olympics does this too. I think, I think the Olympics does this too. Um, where they're like, well, if your testosterone levels are there, you still grew your entire life with thicker bone density, thicker muscle density, stronger tendons, you know, just cause your T levels are just low enough. Doesn't mean you still aren't at a massive advantage. There is, you know, there is a calling for, you know, trans divisions. Even that would, if you did that, the hilarity would be unbelievable because the biological men would still dominate that one too. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's ridiculous that they would measure their like, Oh, just get your T levels on there. I, there are some soy infused vice employees that would their t t testosterone so low that they would probably qualify to compete as a woman. From Monday on male trans athletes will now compete in the men's category which will be renamed Men's Open. Good. Right? This is an absolute win. Like, this is just an absolute win. Now, admittedly, if they did create a trans division, it would be like the, an incredible amount of job security. There's been no greater boon to the quartering economy in 2023 than Bud Light. And similarly, in 2022, Brie Larson. Actually, previous to that. But even, even Bud Light and Brie Larson would pale in comparison to the hilarious infighting that would happen uh, from having a trans-only division. It would really make some heads explode.
In an official statement released by the UCI, the sporting body confirmed that male athletes, even those who identify as trans, do have a lasting advantage over women. A doi. Given the current state of the scientific knowledge, the UCI said, it is also impossible to rule out the possibility of biomechanical factors such as shape and arrangement of the bones and the limbs that may constitute a lasting advantage for female transgender athletes or otherwise known as biological males. The announcement has been welcomed by female athletes, including NCAA swimmer Riley Gaines, former Olympic cyclist Inga Thompson, and former Olympic, Olympic decathlete and trans male Caitlyn Jenner, who all have praised the new UCI policy. Riley Gaines tweeted, Her support for the announcement, UCI Governing Body of Cycling has joined the the likes of FINA, swimming, and world athletes, track and field, and prioritized fairness in sports rather than feelings. Cycling has been heavily infiltrated with males competing in the women's division, so this is huge. And she's 100% right about that. There is, uh, for whatever reason, cycling, at least, you know, sometimes it's, it's fact. Sometimes it's just what's getting reported. But... Cycling has been inundated with biological males winning too, winning huge events. Former Olympic decathlete and spokesperson for the Fairness First Pack, Caitlyn Jenner tweeted good news from Cycling Governed Body today. Protect women's sports. I cannot believe we have to keep saying this. Three-time Olympic cyclist, 10-time national cycling champion, cycling champion Inga Thompson tweeted, quote, We all working together for meaningful inclusion that protects women's sports and establishes predictable pathways for inclusion of trans athletes in cycling. Well, nobody else. I mean, of course, it's it's very predictable. If you're a biological man, you compete against biological men. It's always been predictable. It's only in the last few years. It's only in the last few years that that line got blurred. British Olympic medalist and author of Unfair Play, The Battle for Women's Sports, Sharon Davies, told the post-millennial she hailed the decision. It shouldn't have taken 50 trans-identifying males taking prize money, places, and points from females in a category solely created to remove male physical advantage before the UCI protected and respected their female cyclists, Davies said. Of course, I'm very glad that they have at last done that before the Paris Olympics and more discrimination would end up happening. A lot of damage has already been done. Well, and, you know, prize money, taking spots, all this kind of stuff. Meanwhile, British trans cyclist Emily Bridges, a biological male who previously competed in women's professional cycling, slammed the decision on Instagram statement. They made it clear that they're regressing from any commitment to diversity or progress and upholding what sport has always been about, enforcing the superiority of the ruling class and making it as much money as possible. Uh, you can come, nobody's stopping you from competing against men. Nobody. Nobody's stopping you from, you know, tying up your hair and competing against biological men. Nobody. And that's always been the case, by the way. Um, it, it, it's like absurd that we allowed this delusion um, that they had no advantage to, to proliferate as long as we did. It's, it's like, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's wild, but it's like I said, the only people that can save women's sports are women and they are doing it, you know, legitimately they've had wins in cycling, swimming, um, and, uh, well, weightlifting is still, the Olympics is still woke, but you know, you end up with, you know, there's a reason that you have advantages, disadvantages, stuff like that. If, if, you know, testosterone and stuff like that, you know, why can't people just take roids and other performance enhancers? Being a biological man and competing against biological women is like having 20 years of performance enhancing drugs coursing through your veins. And of course, why, why aren't, it's, it's just so obvious these are little people who want to compete against women and win. They see it as a loophole and they're using being trans as a shield. That's, I mean, that's just my opinion because you never see them fighting to compete against their own biological categories. Do you, you just want them, they just want to go in and win and dominate. And by the way, competing professionally in a sport is not a human right. Okay. This whole give us rights stuff. 
It's not a right. It's not a human right. All right. You want you're transitioning. Okay, cool. I wish you the best for that. Um, that doesn't mean you you have a right to compete in. Uh, f- you know, it's not your right to have everyone else affirm your identity all the time. You do you, and that's fine. This is a a huge win, and I'm I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to report it. <laughs> 